So what's going on guys, it's Jeremy, it's Reboxing, make sure you guys subscribe to this channel before you click on 20 of the videos, also comment below in the comment section, if you guys have any opinions and what I'm saying in any of the videos, like always, it's appreciated if you guys could drop me a quick sub or two on my channel. So after his masterful performance against Guillermo Riggin now this past Saturday night, making the Cuban um, fighter quit after the 6th round, a lot of people are saying we are seeing something extraordinary with Vasyl Lomachenko. We are seeing a once in a generation fighter. This is what people are saying. And Vasyl Lomachenko is definitely making his claim to be the best fighter in the world right now. Because he just went in there and he not only outclassed Guillermo Rigondeaux, he demoralised him. He made um, Guillermo Rigondeaux quit. He won every round. Guillermo Rigondeaux couldn't land the punch hardly. He couldn't counter because... Guillermo Rigondeaux was nullifying him. He was moving in and out of the range. Guillermo Rigondeaux was a fighter who is very good at reading distance, but because the foot speed and the foot movement was so good from Vasyl Lomachenko, he couldn't read what Lomachenko was doing in there. And obviously Lomachenko was quicker, he was bigger, um, and he was just doing things like spinning off Guillermo Rigondeaux, and he was just taking the piss really. Vasyl Lomachenko, the way that the guy can talk to his body and stuff like that, it's just fantastic to watch. Like the way he can talk to his body, it allows him to throw shots at the weirdest angles, and it's just very good to watch. Like fighters are throwing punches, and one minute Lomachenko is in front of him, and then he's like behind him. It, that's why a lot of people say he's the Matrix. Like that's what it looks like when he's in there sometimes. Like, oh, the guy is very good to watch right now. Obviously. People are saying he's the best fighter in the world, and that's their opinion. But in my opinion, he still needs to go out there and try and unify at 130 pounds, and maybe move up to 135 pounds, take on some big fights in there. But right now, he's definitely making his claim to be the best fighter in the world, and I've got to say he's one of them right now. But for him to be the numero uno, then we're gonna have to see him take on a few more big names and get some big victories but right now the number one fighter in the world is very debatable to me like obviously you've got Terence Crawford you've got Lomachenko people are saying it could be Mikey Garcia you know what I mean so yeah it's very interesting right now to see who the best fighter in the world is and I think that's a fight we need to see next Mikey Garcia and Russell Lomachenko I think Lomachenko could move up to lightweight now obviously if he doesn't really want to unify at 130 pounds, he could go up to 135 pounds. He said in his post-fight interview, well, in the press conference afterwards, he said that he would love to fight Mikey Garcia next if he could. And I think that's a very good fight because you've got Mikey Garcia, a fantastic boxing IQ, a guy who's so fundamentally sound, a guy who makes any opponent pay if they make mistakes, who's got big punching power. And his last few performances, Mikey Garcia has just looked fantastic. And I think him and Vasyl Lomachenko is the fight to be made at £135. If Mikey Garcia can go back down to £135, obviously he's still the champion, but obviously he flirted with the light welterweight division, beating Adrian Broner up there. He says that he's willing to go to £147 for the right fight. Like, shit, this guy was willing to fight uh, Miguel Cotto at £154. Like, shh. Mikey Garcia is definitely trying to create a legacy for himself. So I think him and Vasyl Lomachenko would be a very, very good fight. And i seen after the fight, a lot of people were saying, oh, the fight was a fix, the Rigondeaux-Lomachenko fight. That why would Rigondeaux quit? He wasn't even hurt. Oh, it's all BS. He got um, paid off by Bob Arum. Like, a lot of people went into this fight very emotional. They were picking with the heart instead of the head. Like, a lot of people wanted to see Guillermo Rigondeaux win. And a lot of people got emotional about about it when they were picking who was going to win this fight. You had people who wanted to see Rigondeaux win because, obviously, he hasn't really had the best career. He's been fucked about in his career. Promoters haven't wanted to promote him. Bob Iron famously didn't want to promote him. And, obviously, his fight is Vasyl Lomachenko. So, people wanted to see Rigondeaux knock off Lomachenko just to stick it to Bob Arum, so there's a lot of emotion going into this fight, and people were picking with the hearts instead of the head, so when they saw Lomachenko beat Rigondeaux, 
they couldn't process it, so they're going out and they're saying, oh, it's a fix, this can't be real, and stuff like that, you know what I mean, people just can't take the L sometimes, and I understand why people pick Wigandow, because Wigandow is a very, very good fighter, and like I said in my pre-fight video, I said I wouldn't be sh too surprised if Wigandow fought away, I would be surprised, but not really surprised, you know what I mean, but in my mind, Lomachenko was just the guy who was going to win the fight. I just thought he was too big. I just felt he was too active. And, you know what I mean? Like they always say, the good big guy always beats the good little guy. And that's what happened last night with Vasyl Lomachenko and Guillermo Rigondeaux. So it'll be interesting to see what Lomachenko does fighting fighters at £130 and £135 going forward. Like, people are saying, oh, he only won because he was the big guy, but... Lomachenko's been doing it to guys at his own weight class. He was doing it against Nicholas Walters. He beat Nicholas Walters in very similar fashion. Totally outboxed the guy, totally demoralised him and made him quit. And that's what he did to Rigondeaux. So the guy's been doing it in his own weight class. So you can't say he only did what he did because Rigondeaux was a smaller fighter. Rigondeaux was the one who wanted the fight. He was the one who took the challenge. He was the one who made the challenge. All Russell Lomachenko did was oblige and indulge Guillermo Rigondeaux. So, you know what I mean? Some people just can't take the L. And a lot of people get very, very emotional when making picks in certain fights. But that's why you've got to be objective. You've got to look at a fighter's skill set. You've got to look you've got to look at um a fighter's weakness. You've got to look at styles matchups because styles make fights. You've got to look at all of that. And a lot of people are just going with their emotions, you know what I mean? Saying that Vasyl Lomachenko is the hype job and stuff like that. Like, Vasyl Lomachenko was seen as the bad guy in this fight. And Rigondeaux was the fan favourite, the fan hero and stuff like that. But Lomachenko is a very nice guy, you know what I mean? Like, he's a nice guy. He makes time for his fans and stuff like that. Yes, he's extremely confident, but obviously that's a part... Of what he does in there. Like. Not only has he got a tremendous skill set. He's very confident with his skill set. And that's a big asset to what he does in there. Like there's nothing wrong with a fighter being confident. And saying that. They're going to go in there. And beat a fighter in a certain way. That they're going to go in there. And destroy fighters. Like you want fighters to say that. You know what I mean. But Lomachenko is a nice guy. And he's just there to try and create his own legacy in boxing. So it is what it is at the end of the day. What do you guys think of this? Do you think that Lomachenko is the best fighter in the world, like a lot of people are saying? Do you think he still needs to do stuff at £130 and £135, try and unify, fight the likes of Miguel Bachel and Javonta Davis or Mikey Garcia and Linares up at lightweight? Just tell me what you guys think. Comment below in the comment section. It's JM, it's Speedboxing.